próbálja magához közel húzni, rángatni. It's one of the more grueling sports in the Olympics. It's certainly one of the more disciplined ones. Hungarian wrestler Arpit Saipos has been dedicated to this brand of Greco-Roman wrestling since he was six. Tell me about your Olympic dreams. Well, everybody has a dream about it. I believe all athletes have a dream about it. The, uh, of course, I want to win just like anybody else. He was raised under a communist government. Unlike others there, he was provided for. Arpit was a national figure in Hungary after winning two European and one world title for his country. But his eyes weren't closed as to what was going on around him. The freedom in that country meant only a freedom inside. So you weren't able to think about leaving a country and see something else or see other people and exchange the experience. We had a freedom um, to do sort of things. Of course, we didn't have McDonald's those days. We have it now. And uh, not too many people had car. And the, uh, but we were able to go and ride a bicycle, go and fishing. Arpin began to live out his own Hollywood script in 1985. While on a sports tour through this country, he stumbled across something, something that in one word dramatically changed his life forever. It's love. That's it. Yeah, I met my wife in 85, and uh, I visited her. She came to Hungary twice. The last time when she stayed there for eight months, and then we got married there. In May of 1989, Arpit took up residency in Los Angeles. It is here where he pumps up his hopes of an Olympic dream. Arpin is considered one of the best Greco-Roman wrestlers the United States has to offer. But Arpin is not yet official. He still awaits his citizenship and, in essence, is a man without a country. I knew from Hungary. And that's it. I closed that line. I can go back. He has left his people, his homeland, his history behind. In the short time he has been in this country, he has learned a lot. Arpit says he's glad he was raised in Hungary. He believes children in America have a hard time growing up. Even he, as an adult, has witnessed the anger and frustrations of the people of this community. Those people, that they, were, they started to loot and, and ignore the law. Uh, well, all I can say is here, here why we need sport that uh, teaches you how to work. It, you have to pay attention. You learn how to sacrifice. You learn how to work for your goods. And you don't even have time to think about doing something which is, which is uh, against the law or, or just ruin other people. You learn actually how to live peacefully. Just ahead, the LA riots claim another victim, this time an Olympic hopeful whose dreams have been shattered.